Well, thank you. And I first want to join with uh, my colleagues in expressing my personal excitement about Judge Jackson going on the United States Supreme Court. This is a, a very, very historic week. I do want to take a step back, though, uh, and just make it very clear that President Biden and our new slim Democratic majority inherited a mess a little over a year ago. We inherited a mess. Uh, at that point, there were 424,000 Americans who had lost their lives from COVID. There was $7 trillion in new debt just from the four years of Trump. $7 trillion in debt and 2.6 million jobs lost during the Trump years. But when Senator McConnell and the Republican leaders come to this podium, all they do is complain that we aren't cleaning up their mess fast enough. So let's fast forward to today. 7.9 million jobs have been created in a little more than a year. Onto a record, possibly the, the strongest record ever for any president. Children safely back to school, Americans returning to their lives, their normal lives, and we certainly want to keep it that way with this COVID package. And we are delivering as Democrats every single day, just this work period. Again, critical ports and supply chain reform bill to help our farmers and to cut costs, cut costs. Postal reform, talked about for 15 years, we got it done. The Violence Against Women Act, critical aid to Ukraine, an omnibus with the right priorities for people. The Intel Anti-Lynching Act, only 100 years overdue. Cybersecurity bill, bills to help veterans access life-saving cancer care, legislation to support child sex abuse victims, just to name a few things that we've done just in this last six weeks. So again, uh, and, not, and that, by the way, is not counting, 56 judges confirmed and counting, and a wonderful new Supreme Court justice. Bottom line is, Democrats are delivering every day. Uh, one more thing.